Good morning everybody, I'm Shane Charcha here with another supplement tip for the day. Today I want to cover a huge concern that a lot of people have, especially parents when they walk in the health food store. Sorry for the shaky camera, today I'm kind of holding on to the camera. So, people come in, they look at protein and they ask me, is protein dangerous? Protein is about as dangerous as apples and water. Why do I say that? If you eat way too many apples, or if you drink excess amounts of water, it's going to be dangerous. The same as protein. Protein is only a food. If you take anything in excess amounts, and when I say excess, I'm talking like you'd have to have like, I don't know, five to 10 shakes a day for extended periods of time to maybe be harmful. Okay, and that's if you're not even taking care of yourself. Same as apples. If you were to eat, I don't know, 10 apples a day, you'd get stomach discomfort, you'd get gas, you'd get bloating. If you drink too much water, it's washing out all these nutrients from your body. But you can drink a lot of water. You can take a lot of protein. You can still eat a lot of apples. Protein is the same as having a chicken breast or having a piece of fish. That's what protein is. Um, the other big concern we have in health food stores is a lot of people or parents again coming in asking about the dangers of creatine there's a lot of myths that go around online and you know through parent circles that creatine is dangerous it's a steroid it's only an amino acid amino acids are what make up protein in your foods like chicken fish protein powder anything like that so any form of protein has amino acids. Creatine is one single amino acid. Usually when you take it, it's a five gram scoop. You take that after a workout or first thing in the morning. And what that does, it draws more water into the muscles, adds more ATP, which is gonna add more energy and help to increase strength. It's just giving the body a supplemental amino acid that helps the body to repair itself, get stronger and get bigger a little bit faster. So creatine and protein are very, very safe products. Now the one time I tell you not to take it is if your doctor actually puts you on dietary restrictions. If you had major um, medical problems, you'd actually know, like your doctor would have you, you know, if you have liver problems or you do technically have kidney problems, your doctor would probably tell you what to eat and what not to eat. But again, if you've been put on restrictions where you have to limit your overall food intake of protein, that's when you wouldn't take protein. You wouldn't take creatine if, again, you had major issues. Um, I've taken creatine in the past. The only problem I've ever had is really it's gas and bloating. I don't know why. I haven't taken it in years. I'm actually thinking of getting back on it again. Um, it's great stuff. Like it works very, very well. And that's all I'm going to say about creatine and protein. They're safe. But if you have medical conditions, check with your doctor. That's the only thing I would tell you um, about taking those two products. Can people under 18 years old take creatine? Of course they can. Senior citizens actually take protein for muscle deteriorating disease. It's a very, very helpful amino acid. Um, and if you do a little bit of research on just creatine monohydrate, that's the pure creatine, you're going to find a lot of great stuff with creatine. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a comment below. Um, you can email me at shanespilltalk at yahoo.com. I'll leave that in the description below. Um, give me a thumbs up if this video has kind of helped you. Share it with some people who do have concerns about these, prob uh, these products. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Again, sorry about the shaky camera today. I thought I'd be moving more um, but yeah I will see you in the next video talk to you later stay healthy and stay motivated talk to you later bye